What's up everybody, King Bong here. Today we are talking about the GoPro Hero 7. Particularly the GoPro Hero 7 Black. As you can see, I just picked up recently. Um, so in this one, we're gonna be going over the differences between them all. And I'm going to actually open it up. And I'm also going to open this Amazon package that I just got with a bunch of GoPro accessories in it. So we'll kind of look over all that and uh, see what some of the stuff is and see what comes inside the box. But first things first, I want to go over the actual GoPro Hero 7 Black. Because something that I didn't realize whenever I first got interested in this, I um, started looking into the GoPro itself. And I almost made the mistake. I was um, going to buy it. And I was looking on um, different sites like Craigslist and Offer Up and uh, Let Go or whatever. And I actually found some, some sellers that were selling the GoPro Hero 7 on there. And uh, I had even talked to a few people about buying it and blah, blah, blah. And what I learned in doing so before I actually made any purchases at all is the fact that <clears throat> there are three different versions of the actual GoPro Hero 7. So whenever you see people saying the GoPro Hero 7, white and black and things of the sort, they're not just referring to the color of it. The color is to indicate the actual level of it. So the white would be the introductory level. Um, the silver would be like the next notch up and of course black is like the deluxe edition. It's the it's the big one that you're thinking of. So whenever you're going to buy your GoPro Hero 7 or whatever, the black is the one that you are seeing the advertisement for. It is the one that you are thinking about. I've looked at the comparison videos and things of the sort and uh, supposedly what is being said is that the GoPro Hero 7 is essentially the equivalent of the GoPro Hero 6 with the stability and the stabilizer. Um, the GoPro Hero 7 white is the entry level for the GoPro Hero 7 and the, the stabilization is the least out of the three. So we'll, we've got the three of them marked down here. We'll go through them and uh, go over a few different details as to what to look for and what's the differences and things of the sort. So starting with the GoPro Hero White 7. It is $199 starting. I've seen that it's cheaper on some other spots. This is the GoPro website. So maybe they've got it marked just a notch higher or the exactly what it should be. Um, Again, I bought the Hero Black. So the the first starting difference is, is that the GoPro Hero 7 White is only $199, which is $200. That's really not that bad for a GoPro. Um, the GoPro Hero 7 Silver is $299, which is $300, which again is still not that bad. And then, of course, the GoPro Hero 7 Black, which is... $399, $400, which I considered was to be very reasonably priced. I thought it was going to be much more expensive than that whenever I first started looking into this. Turns out that it was fairly decently priced. And um, yeah, I mean, I think $400 for a 4K essentially camera that takes fairly decent photos and uh, records at 60 frames per second. Is definitely worth it <clears throat> okay so here are some of the other key differences all three provide photos this one is just a simple 10 megapixel camera this one is a 10 megapixel with WDR I'm not sure what WDR is I have to look into it and tell you more about it um, this one the GoPro Hero 7 black 12 megapixels obviously more than the other two uh, with super photo again. I'm not quite sure this is actually my first GoPro I've ever bought. So this is my introductory into GoPro 
So the next key difference is going to be the video. The GoPro Hero White is only recording at 1080p, 60 frames per second. I've seen some other videos that say that it actually records at 1440 at 16, 60 frames per second. And then the silver is going to be at the 4K. So it's recording 4K resolution at only 30 seconds or only 30 frames per second. So that is, you know, it's, it's jump. There's a major difference between these two right here alone. This one doesn't record in 4K, which is something that you might be trying to get your GoPro for, unless you're just trying to get a good 1080p mobile camera. Uh, this one is 4K at 30 frames per second. And then of course the GoPro Hero 7 Black 4K at 60 frames per second. None of these cameras capture the spherical capture or the over capture. I don't know, whatever. I don't know why they show that. The battery on these on the Hero White is built in. The Hero 7 Silver is built in. And then the Hero 7 Black is removable, which is a big deal because if you're out and mobile and you buy extra batteries, you can swap them out. They'll be pre-charged. You can go for much longer. Here, you're going to have to, once your battery juice is, is um, gone, you're going to have to literally stop and recharge your camera. And uh, I really have no idea what the life is on these. I, I think that the removable is just far superior based on the simple fact that when the battery dies, you can have backups ready to go. That would be any any reasonable device anyways. Um, waterproof, all three are waterproof to 33 feet, 10 meters, which I think is pretty good. You're six feet tall, do the math. Um, you times three is 20 or is 18. So, um, you know, six of you standing from head to toe underwater you're not going to be able to dive that deep you go into a pool it's about eight nine foot deep you're not going to dive 33 feet without scuba gear or something so some sort of something so 33 i consider that fairly decent i'm sure you can get the waterproof case and probably go much deeper two inch touch screen uh this is referring to the screen on the back all three of them have it the video stabilization, I've heard that the from the reviews and things, the research that I've done, it says that the Hero 7 st has the very least st stabilization stability. And uh, it's also considered, you know, not that great. It's it's okay, but it's not that great. The silver has got this, the uh, stabilization of the GoPro Hero 6 which I've heard is fairly decent. And from all the research I've seen, the Hyper Smooth GoPro 7 Hero Black, and I've seen the, the comparisons and things of the sort, um, they are, is a big major difference. All three are voice controlled. You can tell the camera to start recording or to stop recording, take a photo, whatever. Uh, wake on voice, so you can talk to the camera and it will wake up for you if it goes to sleep. This might be convenient, you know, if you're trying to get the right shots or the right footage and your GoPro happens to like go inactive for you, sleep mode or whatever, you can just kind of start it back up. The other two do not. Auto offload to your phone, all three do. There's an app that you download for your phone to run the GoPro. This automatically I, I'm assuming we'll just kind of upload onto your phone for you time-lapse videos all three provide time-lapse videos I have heard I from the comparisons again that I've seen because I'm still new to GoPros myself you guys the GoPro Hero 7 white and the silver both have the 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 time-lapse is not as good I think it might I could be incorrect I think the time-lapse might be pretty solid on all three versions and it's the slow motion that I've seen that is really a major difference you can see here that it's a time two slow-mo and this is a times eight and with these slow-mos I've heard that you have to kind of do more to get them within the range of what you want so live streaming 
uh these two do not provide live streaming i gotta be honest with you this is kind of the reason why i bought this camera is because it provides live streaming so i'm interested to test this part out right here uh super photos the first two do not white and silver do not hero 7 does time warp video the first two do not the the um hero black does gp1 chip i'm not sure what this is <laughs> I don't know what it is. I'll have to do some more research, you guys. If anybody else knows what this is, please like and comment below, you know. Uh, quick stories. I think that's supposed to be something. Again, let's see what it is. Automatically moves footage from GoPro to your phone and transforms it into awesome videos. Okay. Hey, right, let's see what this is. GP1 chip. Okay, GoPro design chip made to deliver next level image quality and stabilization. Okay, so that's probably what's providing the stabilization, ultra smooth stabilization versus the first two. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, Karma compatible. This is a particular type of drone that it is compatible with. The first two are not. Protune lets you manually control color, white balance, shutter speed. Okay, that's cool. So, um,. The Hero Black allows that to happen. Super suit protection, dive and housing. Says that the first two are not. I don't think that's accurate. I think that the third one is, and I do think that is accurate. Uh, the, the mics, so it says here the white and silver have two. The GoPro 3, or black has um, three built in. Stereo audio is there for the black, not the first two. 360 audio, not for any of them. Raw audio capture wave formats is on the black. 3.5 millimeter audio mic in is on the black. So you can hook in your own mic. They all have Wi-Fi Bluetooth connectivity, connection to GoPro app. They all provide the app. Auto upload to the cloud. GPS is not for the first one, but for the last two. And HDMI video out. Micro HDMI cable is is available it's an option usable on the gopro 7 black so that's the key differences between them all don't get fooled into getting one that you don't want make sure that you do a little bit of research for yourself and figure out which one of these gopros that you like best in my personal opinion if you're gonna spend 200 bucks you're saving money on the 400 so i might do this if I'm getting started, if I want to learn, if I'm if I'm on a budget and I really want to get myself a go a good camera for a good price, I would go with the Hero 7 white. I would not waste the money going from the Hero 7 white to the Hero 7 silver. I would automatically if I was going to do the silver, I would just go ahead and do the black or I would do the white. I would either save the cash or I would spend the cash. And that's my personal opinion with it. That's probably why I ended up with the GoPro Hero 7 Black because I didn't want to buy it for features that I'd seen advertised and not get them. So that's my personal opinion. It's not like they're advertising the GoPro Hero 7 White and um, showing everybody the great capabilities of it. No, they're showing you the Black 100%. That's what's hooking you into wanting to buy the Hero 7 right now. So without further ado, let's actually open it so that way I can have a look at it. I've never actually opened it and looked at it. Margaret, do you want to come for me? This is Margaret. <laughs> open it. It's all right. Oh, okay, so wait, 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 wait. When you guys are opening your GoPro, hang on, I'm gonna show you how to do it. From the bottom, there's a tab here, and there's a little arrow. <clears throat> Let me show. There's a little tab and arrow here. You're gonna peel it off. Yeah. There it is. And it's open. Open it and take it all out for me. Thank you, Gigi. Easy with my box. No, no, it's tricky. Hang on. Let me pull it out. 
I got you. Here, grab it. You you take it out now. Here, just grab that part. What? Grab it. Grab it. You got it. Break it. So it just slides right out. Slides right out. It's all empty. So that way I can keep the box if forever in the future. Yeah, they're supposed to be small. It's a small action camera, so that way you can use it without it getting in the way of you. It comes locked in on this like strange base. So I heard, so from what I saw, I keep saying I heard, from what I saw, to unlatch it, you basically lift this rubber piece. Yeah, there's a rubber piece right here in the back. You lift this rubber piece and then you're gonna click it together and slide it out. And then that's like some kind of base it comes with, I guess. And it's like this, it's got the sticker on the thing. It's kind of cool. Um, what is all this? Then slide that back, maybe. Watch me break it. But how do I get it out of this? So it comes with a chart. It comes with the battery. It comes on this, like with this little case around it. I need to figure out how to take that off. Oh, I think you're supposed to undo this. The box comes with, okay. So the box is empty now. It comes with these booklets. I'm assuming instructions and just some information about it. Some stickers, that's pretty cool. I like stickers. That'll be cool to have those. Comes with the battery. Comes with a couple of little attachments. So this one's flat and this one's curved. I guess um, this one you can stick on flat surfaces and this one you can stick on a curved surface like a helmet or something. This one you might kind of stick on I don't, I'm not really sure. We'll, we'll figure it out in the future. <laughs> um, comes with the charging cable. It's a normal USB-C cable. Um, I'm interested in what the hell this is. Is that just like a box? Like with a, I guess maybe it's so you can use it kind of like as a stand, maybe? Maybe I could just, use it and then like if I need the GoPro to have like a little stand or something I could just sit it on this let's see if we can this is cool I'm interested to get it and work it oh, again so that comes off oh and then that snaps back. Okay, so this is how you undo that. All right. So, with this right here, you can see that it's locked into this case right here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna lift it up and snap it back. It's got like, it's like an old mason jar. So you can kind of like, And then from there, we open it. Wow, this is cool. And we take it out. This little like silicone case, kind of plastic rubbery silicone case. I guess it's so it can absorb the scratches for you and help you lock it into place. It's the actual camera. Little display on the front, pretty cool. The batteries aren't even in yet. 
Oh wow, so the thing slides open super quick and easy. And then we just stick the battery in. Oh, kind of pops in there. Whoa. You can see. That's cool. It just cuts right on. So the juice is there. And that's everything that comes in that box. With the GoPro, we'll have to do some more like comparisons and things of the sort. And that is the GoPro Hero 7 Black. If you guys want, I'll um, do a video of me unboxing and I'll link it. Or I'll do a video of the accessories and I'll um, link it at the end of this video. I'll have it just. You guys can click over to it. Thanks for watching. Bye.